by the grace of Christ let us go to let us go to John let's go to the Gospel of John chapter 21 chapter 21 of the Gospel of John after this Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias he revealed himself in this way Simon Peter Thomas called the twin in Nathaniel of Cain of Galilee the son of Zebedee and two other disciples were together Simon Peter said to them I'm going fishing they said to him we will go with you they went out and got into the boat but the night they caught nothing just as day was breaking Jesus stood on the shore yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus Jesus said to them children do you have any fish they answered him no he said to them cast a net on the right side of the boat and you will find some so they cast it and now they were not able to haul it in because of the quantity of fish the disciple whom Jesus loved therefore said to Peter it is the Lord when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord he put on his outer garment for he was stripped for work and threw himself into the sea the other disciples came into the boat dragging the net full of fish for they're not far from the land but about a hundred yards off when they got out on land they saw a charcoal fire in place with fish laid out on it and bread Jesus said to them bring some of the fish that you've just caught so Simon Peter went abroad and hold the net ashore full of large fish 153 of them and although there were so many the net was not torn Jesus said to them come and have breakfast but none of the disciples dared ask him who are you they knew it was the Lord Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them and so with the fish this was now the third time that Jesus was revealed to his disciples after he was raised from the dead when they had finished breakfast Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. He said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time do you love me and he said to him Lord you know everything you know that I love you Jesus said to him feed my sheep true true I say to you when you were young you used to dress yourself and walk wherever you wanted but when you were old you would stretch out your hands and another would dress you and carry you where you don't want to go this he said to show what kind of death he was to glorify God and after saying this he said to him follow me Peter turned and saw the disciple who Jesus loved following them the one who also had leaned back against him during the supper and had said Lord who is it that is going to betray you when Peter saw him he said to Jesus Lord what about this man Jesus said to him if it is my will that he remain until I come what is that to you you follow me so the saying spread abroad among the brothers you know, his disciple was not to die yet Jesus did not say to him that he was not to die but if it is my will that he remain until I come what is that to you this disciple who is bearing witness about these things and who has written these things and we know that his testimony is true now there are also many of other things that Jesus did were any one of them to be written suppose the world 
itself could not contain the books that would be written. Peter, the Simon, the son of Jonah. A person that God called first of the apostles with other eleven. And he managed to become the last of the apostles because his thoughts were that I can. I want and I can because his thoughts were I know and indeed when the Lord asked who would they ask that I that I am the son of man the others were saying what they heard he was one of the prophets but Peter said what God revealed to him, that he is Christ, the Son of the living God. A, a person that God honored in a special way till the end. The end of the cross. And indeed, the Lord prophesied all of you will be offended because it is written I'm gonna strike the shepherd and all the sheep will be scattered but Peter with all the conviction that he knows himself that he is able to do whatever he can he confirmed I would dare to say the Lord even of all are offended I will not be offended because I am resolved to die with you this is a, a path in the presence of God uh, in with Christ from even becoming first drawing closer to the Lord Jesus not like John a path of weakness and love but a walk of of knowledge and power resulting that he came to the point from first to become the least or the last of the apostles because when they crucified Jesus even though he had informed them uh, about the continuance of the events of his passion and that he was going to be arrested, crucified and resurrected on the third day Peter believed he was the Messiah, he was going to free the Israeli people from the Romans and when he saw what he was not expecting to see the death of Jesus he lost all his power, all his knowledge all his boldness and he became a coward, insignificant from the disciples who did not hesitate three times to betray his Lord before an insignificant maidservant and when he saw and when the rooster crowed and the maidservant challenged him that he had nothing left but sadness he was sad insignificant 
most unimportant and small and useless before a maidservant a worse incident could not occur to any of the disciples including Peter but Christ was risen and the resurrection of Christ changed everything when you believe it when you understand it when you heard by Maria of Magdalene the tomb was empty he ran he confirmed that the tomb was empty with personal evidence and then he returned to the same and when the Lord revealed himself to Mary Magdalene he gave her a commandment go tell my disciples and to Peter like I said and foretold you I was I'm risen and I'm going before you to Galilee and as the Word of God says he met Peter without telling us the Word of God what took place and the revelation have a revelation of that dialogue and Peter he did not come back with knowledge with power with might with conviction by for himself but as one of the rest of the disciples but he was failed no one could remove the um, sense of failure that he had known as a person who had denied his Lord in absolute weakness before a maidservant I could dare to say putting myself in his place he was absolutely ashamed despised I am the person speaking of Peter are you the one you used to say and tell that God revealed to you are you the one that in all certainty I will die with you this is amazing brethren the weakness of a person but useful and beneficial it's horrible but beneficial Apostle Peter says when my weakness is full the power of God in my life is complete the weakness leads a person to fear but Christ leads a person to return God is blessed in all blessing and the heavenlies the Lord Jesus Christ but Peter has not understood this he just hasn't realized this yet and when is he going to realize this when he found himself in heaven but now he is blessed with all blessing in the heavenlies through the Lord Jesus Christ but he feels ashamed but his heart has not recovered yet <clears throat> he went to Galilee as Jesus was revealed to him reason 
he continues to be a pitiful and weak person and his mind is now in fishing Rem remember that three three and a half years ago he had abandoned everything to follow Christ but his weakness now leads him to go back to fishing let me repeat this because this is something that happens to all of us my weakness whether it's by my mistakes or whether it's by mistakes of other people brings me from a chosen apostle to become a fisherman a failed person so when he found himself in Galilee he said he his heart is no longer passionate about the meaning of, of the kingdom of heaven or about the meaning of Messiah has weakened has weakened in all ways and now he's turning what he knew before he met Christ back to fishing but the future Peter and he can he's even able to lead astray other disciples and they said to with them the same day they went they went on the boat and they went to fish and from now on starts the restoration that's going to lead Christ it's going to lead Peter He's going to realize even his greater weakness. I mean, Peter is going to understand the love of Christ, not the power of Christ, because the power of Christ is something <coughs> does not draw in man, but what draws people to God is love. Peter's going to know now love by Christ waiting for Peter to return to him. Now they went fishing and they had a complete failure. The great fisherman led everybody to complete failure, but Christ waiting for them too. Now if they had caught a lot of fish, we don't know what would have occurred in the and they were thinking, but now that they completely failed in their fishing, they know what to expect. Christ is waiting for them. And since there is no fish in the net, John, who is the disciple of love, that has a revelation because of his love for Christ. Do you see that person? on the on the beach that is the Lord because he's interested in our work did you catch anything no not even one fish so cast the net to the right side of the boat they listened to him in the morning and they cast the net and the net was filled with fish it is the Lord do you understand this? Then the transformation of Simon, son of Jonah, again. He left everybody, everything. Uh, he was nude. He he threw his body into the waters I left everything just like before he left everything when the Lord had gone to the boat and even though it wasn't uh, it wasn't the time the beginning of the ministry of the Lord Jesus and as he asked them, it wasn't the right time of the day to cast the net, and they had great results, and he abandoned everything. 
and now the same time repeated itself to abandon everything for Peter and follow Christ. The time has come after his failure. After his absolute weakness, after his shame and despising. Even though his heart had not zeal anymore, he left everything and everybody. His companions, the boat, everything. He dove into the water, he went to meet Christ. That's the good beginning, brethren. Can you leave everything, abandon everything, and jump into the water? Peter is unique. The others rode because they were close to the beach uh, and they saw what Peter saw first the Lord on the beach to, to be grilling fish and to prepare a meal for them and when uh, they drew near Jesus said bring some of the fish that you have just caught and again Simon Peter first in obedience first in returning first in obedience he ran went on board and hold the net counted the fish 153 always he does not hesitate to do quickly what the Lord asked him to do. And this is a great return by his heart, not the words. And let me see what's going to happen. Let me see what's going to happen. He dove what to meet what John had told him it was the Lord. <coughs> And when the Lord asked to bring out of the fish they had just caught, he was the first. Make us like that, Christ. All of us to run first to his word. Without great words and ideas. Without great abilities. Failed. But first. Dear brethren, I'll tell you something that's very serious as the Lord is telling us today. If you're failed, the Lord wants you to make you first. First. And the best of all. And I say that. Let me say something too. May I add something to that too. First and best of all. Don't be saddened, but rejoice and glorify God. It depends on me and you from all of us. Jabez was insignificant, and he made him first and most glorious. Peter was despised and returned to be the first. He's winning now the admiration of all the powers because it's revealed all the blessing that God the Father blessed him through the Lord Jesus Christ, the heavenlies. And once they sat, they ate. And once they ate, the Lord is addressed the one who became first after he was last. He, he didn't make himself first, but God made him first. The first is going to become last, the last first. He didn't make him first, but the last one be became first. 
he became last because of his weakness he became first out of his zeal out of his love and the Lord now is hitting now knocking on his heart you his and our Simon son of Jonah do you love me more than everything now everything fish ship brethren companions colleagues everything do you love me more than anything and Peter has now boldness boldness of glory of the last one Lord you know that I love you because Christ knows everything or if you love Christ Christ knows him if you love him more than anything Christ knows him that's why he asks him so, so that all the powers we're hearing heavenly earthly underworld the Christ does not need to know the heart of Peter but there is need all the powers to know the heart of Peter that him the embarrassed <coughs> loves me more than anything in his life and that's why he's becoming first first becomes the one the one who abandons everything because he loves first becomes the one who runs because he loves like before to show his power and his ability there is no ability there is nothing significant oh. he loves Christ he sees a Christ who loves him even though all the others are despising them inside of them or maybe even evidently in the conversations but Christ loves him though what matters is what Christ is saying about you brother doesn't matter what people say about you whoever they are what Christ is saying about you Simon son of Jonah I know that you love me more confess it now and Peter says you know that I love you more than anything yes Lord Jesus now the first one shepherd my own lambs here's my own job and do it you used to do your own job but you were useless and significant a zero I'm not gonna abandon you even though all would be offended what are you saying there Peter now shepherd my lambs now you're able to now that your heart is flooded with love for Christ and he continues Simon son of Jonah do you love me second time Simon says you know that I love you shepherd my own sheep feed my own sheep lead my own sheep now you're able to before you couldn't do this now you're able and third time Do you love me? And Peter responds, You know everything, Lord. You know that I love you. And Christ completes the mission that he has for Peter. And he said to him, Feed my sheep. But he's not ending here the promise that God has for Peter 
<clears throat> now I'm gonna say how you're gonna complete the your praise and glory gonna bring to me to the ages of ages and I'm gonna show you the when you age Peter when you live with you're gonna bring me glory by your life and when you age me glorify me by your death because the last you became first by your death you will glorify me but now follow me without hesitation without doubt without human doubt an earthly doubt now again he abandoned everybody and he doesn't take account of his of the fish of the of his companions that he led astray he doesn't consider anything but he follows Christ this is a servant of Christ this is the man that God blessed him in all the heavenlies with all blessing the one who does not cease to leave everything behind for Christ Lord please make us like that give us that spirit the spirit of your glory Lord as as Christ has who being in the form of God he abandoned everything he took form of a sermon he became same as he, he found himself as a human being without the glory they had him and found himself in that form he became obedient completely to God to his father completely and that's why God exalted him give us that attitude father make us like that amen make us like that and then he turns he saw another special disciple John who never became first and that's why he never became last he was all was always small and significant because he loved Christ and when you love Christ he cannot be great when you love he cannot be great and without Christ telling him he was following too what can we say to him this person says Peter he's following us he's doing better than you that he's coming he's coming because he used to love me and he loves me and he will continue to love me he goes wherever I go he walks on my steps he's a servant of love he's a son of love with him I have a different work he's gonna live if he's gonna live till I come again why do you ask me what does it concern you but ask about yourself so brethren the work of God was completed to Simon son of Jonah who abandoned everything and became first but in that preeminence he became last and being last he became first again may brethren none of us today 
be first. None of us to have the op be of the opinion that he is greater than anybody else. Because if he is, his heart deceives him. You make a mistake, brother. You think you are better than other people. You are doing a better job than other people. You understand more. Be careful. This is a great trap by the devil. A great trap by the devil. He doesn't know what he's doing. I know. You lost your game. Yeah, he doesn't know. I know better than a person what to do. Then you really you missed your place. It's better to say when we most of us say, neither I know nor can I do, Lord. And whatever we're doing in our life, not I, but the but Christ.